Hi everyone, I'm Paul Chandler, host of The Paul Chandler Show, and welcome to tonight's episode where we're going to be discussing surgical pathology. Because it's one thing we don't code it a lot as coders, but they have some simple unique rules we need to remember when we're coding it. So stay tuned, we'll be right back when we're learning how to code tonight, surgical pathology. Welcome back everyone, and tonight we're going to learn about surgical pathology coding, or simply known as surgical path. So we only have six codes that we're looking at, which is the great part about it. We have 88300, 88302, 88304, and they love to skip around, I don't know why, but they do, 88305, 88307, and 88309. So the thing with surgical pathology though is, besides the CPT codes, we also have levels. We have level one through level six. And they do correspond into the CPT code order. So 8300 is level one. 8302, level two, all the way down. So we have levels one through six. And one thing I don't understand is, so there is no 88301. 303 and 306 code. Why didn't they just make levels 1 through 6 be 88301 through 88306? It just makes common sense to me, but they didn't ask me. So we have six different levels. And with the surgical pathology though, and in this case though, we have two different options. We have what's called microscopic examination and gross examination. So if we look at 88300 level 1, there are no drop downs underneath. There are, there are no lo lo locations. But 8302 through 309, so levels two through six, do have many different locations in the body listed there. And part of that reason is 88301 for level one, that is just gross examination only. So I'll just put a G by level one. But levels two through six are gross and microscopic examinations. So simply put, gross examination, the doctor takes it out, the body holds it up, yep, that's what it is, and puts it back down. The microscopic examination, going by the term microscopic, microscopy, then the doctor just puts it under a microscope and actually, mm, okay, yep, yeah, looks into it, and yep, yeah, yep, yeah, mm, do, do, bu, bu, okay, yep, yeah, we're good, and that's it. So 88300 level one is just gross examination only. So in that case, since there's no listings as far as locations on the body, Anywhere in the body, no matter where it is, just as long as it is only gross examination, just okay, yep, 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 put it back down and that's it. No matter what the location is, it's always gonna be level one. Levels two through six, and just break it down, think of it based on the severity level. The higher you go, the more severe it is, as in the, the more work it is. Now something to notate though is, and I always say as far as coding, when you think you have the right level, for surgical path, or the CPT code, whatever you want to call it. Always, no matter if it's multiple choice for an exam or fill in the blank exam or just real world, always take a few moments and look at the other codes as well. So if it's just the gross examination, that's always level one, okay, yep, you're fine. But if you're doing gross and macroscopic examination, once you think you have the right level, or again, the right CPT code, check the other four. For example, Let's say the doctor is doing a gross examination and microscopic examination let's say, on the tonsils. The problem that we have, so if you look at levels one through six, it's doing gross and microscopic, then we cross out level one, and we're looking at levels two through six. However though, look at the CPT codes and see what's listed underneath them. We see tonsils, the, the word tonsil, we see that in 88304, so I'll just put a little a line there. We see tonsil in 88305, and we also see tonsil in 88309. So that's one thing, again, it's very easy, just going, 
you know, a, little, a little too quick, no matter if it's a certification, multiple choice, or the higher quality ones, the fill in the blanks, that are recording in real world, double check your answers because yes, tonsil is in three out of the six levels, but look at the more specific documentation. Tonsils in level three for code 8304, that tonsil says tonsil and or antenoids. 8305 for the level four says tonsil biopsy. And 88309 says tongue tonsil resection for tumor. So yes, we do have three out of the six variables there do have the word tonsil in them, but more specifically though, what are we dealing with the tonsils? Again, level three says tonsil and or antenoids, level four says tonsil biopsy, and level six says tongue tonsil resection for tumor. Now, no matter if you're taking a multiple choice exam, it's very easy just to use one of those as no matter how many you're allowed to miss and still pass your credential, it's easy to choose one of those and just accidentally choose the wrong multiple choice answer. But real world, it's fill in the blank scenarios, and if you get a wrong answer, your claim's denied. So that's one thing with surgical pathology, you always wanna check, again, if it's gross examination, it's always just gonna be level one, and that's it. But if it's gross or, micro, and I should say, and, gross and microscopic examination, if it's both of them, levels two through six, and then you want to choose the most specific level of surgical path, based on the most specific documentation for that location. So that's how you code surgical pathology. And I do thank you for watching this episode of The Paul Chandler Show. And have an awesome rest of your night. If you like this video and want to see more, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's so easy. It's right there. The little button. Just push it. Subscribe. I got all night. Nothing else to do. Just subscribe. <laughs>